difficult as buying a property may be, ensuring a smooth transfer of the property to your children is even more cumbersome, or at least can be, from ensuring you have the right paperwork for your property to making provisions for paying off your home loans. These are some of the key pointers every home buyer needs to bear in mind. Ankita Sinha brings us a few simple things you need to do to ensure smooth transition of property ownership. When 23-year-old Hitesh Rajpuro, his father, bought plots in Mumbai, his first priority was to draw up a will to ensure hassle-free transition of property to his sons, a move that Hitesh says has enabled the brothers to peacefully enjoy the property. He properly registered and even paid the stamp duty also. So, and uh, now he's thinking of making a will. Uskandar Hamluka means uh, we have two brothers and a sister. Sister is already married. So, he मेरा और मेरे ब्रदर का नाम विल में डालने की सोच रहे हैं। I'm thinking of कि जब मैं कभी फ्लैट खरीदूं तो मैं भी अपने फ्लैट को प्रॉपर्ली रजिस्टर करवाऊं। Hitesh is one among many home buyers who have begun to realize the importance ensuring their property is safe, especially in case of their absence. Experts say many home buyers concentrate on buying a house without paying any heed on how to dispose of it in the event of their death. In such a situation, it is critical to ensure that you have all the papers in place to smoothly transfer the property to your successors. One thing should be clearly established that who is going to be the next owner after me. That has to be clearly defined in the start. Apart from that, if it is a tenant-landlord type of relationship, you need to have a landlord's NOC also that you are going to pass on the property to whom. Clarity is the key word here. And this clarity can be maintained by drawing up a will that clearly states who gets how much of the property after the legal owner's demise. In fact, experts say it isn't enough to just mention your successor in your will. You also need to nominate the person in the housing society as that will ensure a smooth transition of property to your heir without the need of a succession certificate. A lot of people uh, make the mistake of uh, confusing you know, uh, nomination with the uh, succession. Now, nomination is a stopgap kind of a thing where in a society, once a member dies, the society does not want to get embroiled in the dispute between legal heirs. A lot of people don't make wills, which is actually a, a sad thing because it leads to disputes. So, the first thing you should do is make a will clearly specifying to whom or to who all you want to leave your property to. Another important matter to be kept in mind is the fate of home loans and mortgages. For most of us, buying property without home loans is simply impossible. But what happens if a person dies leaving the mortgage unpaid? There is a very high possibility that this loan is passed on to the legal heir. Here the bank might either stop the loan or renegotiate and restructure the deal. In such a case, home loan insurance is the product that can help you. For example, if you own a flat worth 3 crore rupees, you can take a term insurance for the same amount as this would make sure your loan is paid off in full, thus securing your family. Where there is an insurance of a loan, you have a lot of breathing space which is there. Also, these the banks, when they give you the loans, they have insurance policies also appended to it. So the first thing is that you need to look at the insurance policies. Look how it covers you. What is the terms of the insurance policy? Every individual wants to pass on a clean slate to their legal heirs. But problems do occur. And these are a few precautions that you could keep in mind to ensure your family need not suffer. From Mumbai, Ankita Sinha for NDTV.